They're in emergency access on the sand truck. Yeah, I'm Black Cap Tour. I think that's him over there. You got me. <laughs> How are you? Hi. What's your name? I'm Brian as oh, well. Oh, you're Brian as Lawrence well. Brian. Just yesterday we we're saying there are so many Brian's here. Everybody in Belfast is called Brian. <laughs> that sums up ourselves in the English. Mm -hmm. Get hundred years of fighting. You end up with uh, partition. I'm of an age where I remember barriers being here. Thankfully, a lot of the barriers have been taken down. Yeah, okay. Well, look, Belfast is surrounded by hills. Mm -hmm. We've got the Tibbis, the Black, and Napoleon's Nose, or the Cape Hill. Mm -hmm. Here's a, a, what do you call a loyalist mural on the left. Okay. Who is he? Power of, oh, Jackie Okay. Yep. Got it. 400-year-old battle. Yes. King William's defeat of the Celtic King James in 1690. Mm -hmm. That's why we have the Orange Order. Yeah. Up until a few years ago, mm -hmm. Oliver Cromwell was on that wall. Oh. And it ran with the caption, there'd be no peace in Ireland until the Catholic Church is crushed. When did they get rid of him? It uh, actually went down a few years ago because I think there was a need for change. Okay. And that's why you've got remember, respect I and resolution. That. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of the communities want change. So in order to bring about change, you change the murals. Right. You tell your story. Mm -hmm. And that's what the mural painting has been here for a long time. Mural painting is a way of getting a message out there, of letting you know what was happening. Mm -hmm. The Republicans, more so than Loyalists, have used the mural painting mm -hmm. uh, to tell a story or mm -hmm. to get a message out there. Mm -hmm. The Loyalist murals are still very much uh, what you would call military or paramilitary. Okay. Do you think the stories are much not The one on the right identifies with the women in the area wanting change. That's called the women's quilt. That one. Then you've got this one, who would be uh, a guy called Top Gun. He would be regarded as a, a loyalist icon. Mm -hmm. No longer with us. What do they represent? Is all this is their, their way of letting you know. How much control they have. Did you see the two gunmen? Uh huh. Walk in front of the two gunmen. Okay. And you'll see how the guns follow you.
the killing 13 Republicans. Mm -hmm. That's just been the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of what used to be on the wall. Mm -hmm. So before this one, you had the Grim Reaper. Shankala identifies with the area. It's a Gaelic word meaning uh, old church. Create okay. art within the theme of inspiration. Women's voices matter. Belfast as it was and Belfast as it is. Belfast back in the day was called an industrial giant. Belfast was granted city status by Queen Victoria. In the 1800s, we had a population of 30,000 people. By the 1900s, we had over 350,000 people. So we used to have big group. long streets running from one side to the other side. And people did at one time live side by side mm -hmm. in a lot of these areas. Sadly, because of the explosion of hate, during the summer of 69, mm -hmm. a lot of them now live with the walls that separate us. 2012, I think this was when this was on. Um... Do you want to go in from here? Mm -hmm. I want to sit there. Go on. Sadly, the pop is very much like the flag. It has become a symbol of division. Right. And then you've got Frederick Douglass, Rosa Parks, and Nelson Mandela. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull over here and okay. that's it.
was on the right hand side of you. Mm -hmm. You could see his black taxi. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. He's happy enough with the wall. <laughs> He's happy enough. The summer of 69, as mm -hmm. I said earlier, brought about an explosion of hate. Mm -hmm. The walls that were put up as a temporary measure mm -hmm. by the British, uh, with the words, this will not turn into a Berlin type structure. Mm -hmm. The wall's now three times a very, very big wall that separates two communities. Mm -hmm. One identifying with uh, Republican Nationalist or Catholic, the other Loyalist Protestant or Unionist. That's insane. As I say, it was only six foot high when it was initially put up. Mm -hmm. Exactly, how's it going? <laughs> so guys, out of the ten men that died on the hunger oh. strike, three were from Belfast. They've mm -hmm. got Joseph on the right and Kieran on the left. The wee verse on the right sums up the prison protest. I wore a convict uniform, nor make me serve my time, but Britain might make Ireland's fight with hundred years of crime. Mm. In the north of Ireland from 1971 until 1976, you would have been tagged with being a political prisoner. Right. Westminster's policies brought about what you would call change. Mm -hmm. You're no longer identified as a political prisoner, you're identified as a common criminal, something that Republicans weren't ready to accept. So they embarked on what was called the blanket protest, mm -hmm. the dirty protest, and then ended up in what we call the hunger strike. Mm -hmm. Bobby, as you can see, successfully became a member of parliament from a prison cell, getting okay. more votes than Margaret Thatcher, the British Prime Minister. That's insane. He brought about one of the quickest law changes ever to be passed through the House of Lords. No serving prisoner after Bobby could run as a member of parliament. Mm -hmm. He was very, very, very articulate. He put pen to paper on many occasions. Mm -hmm. He wrote between 30 and 40 poems. He's a fluent Irish speaker at Gilgore, and he's an IRA volunteer. The log at the bottom is the symbol, is the symbol of freedom breaking the chains, mm -hmm. whereas the phoenix at the top is out of the ashes of 69 a rose republicans okay. it's a gillic word it roughly translates as mm -hmm. we ourselves are ourselves alone we ourselves that's reference to the attacks on the party and on the party offices pat was one of the surviving hunger strikers Survived the hunger strike but didn't survive life. Is the very last attack on the building was in the 1990s. Oh. A rogue you see man posing as a journalist got inside. He's, she was undergoing an eye operation in one of our hospitals. Loyalist paramilitaries dressed up as doctors walked onto the ward and shot her dead. Oh my God. Are you okay? Still with me? Like the lock I to have fought for my freedom. It dated back to uh, the original housing, dated back to the time of the church. Mm -hmm. This is Clonard. Clonard is the Gaelic word for high meadow. Mm -hmm. uh, hard to say this. It's probably better known as Clonard, but less talked about as the Church of the Holy Redeemer. Okay. And it's absolutely. If you do go and go up to the altar uh -huh. and look back at the organ, Where stunningly beautiful. The yeah. organ sits yeah, behind yeah. the big window. Okay. So we have 1800s with the monastery, 1900s with the church. It looks like More it's open. More or less built to accommodate the workforce mm -hmm. coming to work in the textile and in the linen. Is that one of the chimneys? Yeah, it's one of the chimneys, yeah. yes. Belfast is surrounded by hills. Look, you've got the divis, the black, and then Napoleon's nose. That's how you Napoleon's identify nose. the well, the sleeping giant. <laughs> oh, okay. oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> the nose looks like Napoleon's. So, give yourselves a couple of minutes, then we we'll go to our next stop okay. when we come out. Okay. So, what did you, you called it? The it's Church, the Church of, the, of the Holy Redeemer. Of the Holy Redeemer, but yeah. what's the Gaelic name for it? Clonard. Clonard. High Meadow. Okay. Roughly translates as High Meadow. Okay. The Clonard is the name of the area, mm -hmm. but most people just simply call the church Clonard.
see. And I'm going to drive into this street for you. Mm -hmm. I just want to show you from this angle. Mm -hmm. That's the original housing from the 70s. Mm -hmm. This is more up to date housing. Mm -hmm. At one time it used to be back to back housing. Mm -hmm. It's now back to back to a wall. has a monopoly on pain. Both sides have suffered mm -hmm. and uh, testament to the pain and the suffering in this area is well documented mm -hmm. in this memorial garden. I'm going to stop on the way back up. So we can't believe that the period that we call the Troubles Horrible history Is a weak word mm -hmm. Troubles is playing it down A little bit of trouble Across the water It required many 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 Thousands of British soldiers What's in there now Brian? What's that? What's what's in there? What? That's people's houses Oh they're it's all residential houses now This is it would have been government housing back in the yeah. day, but this, I would say this would be, people in this street would have bought their houses. Mm -hmm. But they've been living with a wall from the summer of 69. What you would call the Good Friday Agreement. Mm -hmm. This was a way for communities to remember those that were killed sure. during the conflict. Can we go in? Yes, yes, it's open. I'm going to talk you about the four provinces. Ulster, Munster, Leinster and Connacht. That's your four provinces. Well, there's 32 counties in four provinces. If you're looking for the Clamard and the Gilly, it's Clamard. Mm -hmm. High Meadow, or Meadow High. Yep, yep. Clear and hard. The sad thing is that as much as we talk about the period that we call the Troubles from 69 on, mm -hmm. it goes back to the 1920s from what you would call partition. I've heard about that. The dates that stick out to me are these. Once you start the challenge, you go from 44 to 69 mm -hmm. and then 69 on. These are all civilians on the right hand side. These are Republican volunteers mm -hmm. on the left hand side. I think like any conflict in any part of the world, civilians have always been the biggest casualties. Of course. You'll see, if you look down the street, some of the yeah. younger occupants that have moved in have taken down cages. The older occupants are still living with the cages. Republicans who died of natural causes from the area. Okay. Young Jared on the wall was only 15 years of age, like many others over right. a two-night period. He tried to defend the area. Mm -hmm. Sadly, he paid with his life. Mm. But you can see before the walls went up, you can see the barricades. Yeah. So the barricades are the burning buses and the large vehicles with the walls before the walls went up. And Derry are separated by water, and Belfast are separated by walls. Mm -hmm. Just wonder now, when we go to the other side, you can sign the wall. Oh. Bill Clinton signed the wall. The oh. Dalai Lama signed the wall. Justin Bieber, Rihanna, and many, many others have signed. Uh. That is true. Girls, come, come and look in the camera. Do you? Yeah. So, that's the forehead. Nose and chin. That's the nose. See the mouth? Oh. Yeah. That's why he's called right. sleeping giant, because he's laying That's like this. Yes. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> the end of the honeymoon period between the British Army and the Falls, the people of the Falls Road, is known as the Battle of Falls. 
Oh, there's a good chance that if you live in a Catholic area, you go to a Catholic school. Yes. If you live in a Protestant area, you go to a Protestant school. That is absolutely true. So when we turn this corner, you've got a nursery and primary school uh -huh. on this side. When we go across the gate, you've got something similar on the other side. Mm -hmm. We're never too far away from each other. Mm -hmm. We have a lot more in common than 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 than, than, yeah. than, what, than we think. Yeah. Here's the other side of where we were. This is more commonly called the Peace Wall. It's been called many things. It's a dividing wall. Mm. At one time this used to be back-to-back -back housing, now you've got the road. I'm going to go to the very bottom here and then come back up just to give you an idea okay. of how big it is, or how long it is. You've got three stages, the 70s, the 90s and some say 2005 with the top part. So instead of taking walls down, Belfast walls have got higher since the Good Friday Agreement. All the flags are a giveaway mm. as to what side you're on. There's the Scottish flag and the Northern Ireland flag. At the very bottom of the wall you've got a gate. Like many of the other gates, this will close tonight. Mm. The quickest way in and the quickest way out is through the gates. Yeah. After a certain time, you just go in the footsteps of Bill Clinton, the Dalai Lama, Justin Bieber and Rihanna. Durabelle, beautiful name. Yeah. I hope I can pronounce this one. Oh, Hamzy. Well, Gives you a, a good look at the wall. Yeah. Uh, some say 70s, but well, we know that the, the concrete part was the 70s, and then you've got the 90s, and then uh -huh. you've got the extra height. Okay. The sad thing about the walls in Belfast is that as much as we're taking about taking them down, mm -hmm. they're actually getting higher. But why though? Well, there's a lot of tension still in what you would call interface areas. And uh, when you get tension, it's normally the interface area so that, are the, are that, the walls, that has the trouble. Are the walls being raised by Northern Ireland or is it raised? Who, who's raising the walls? Well, it's ourselves, but it's funded by the British. That's the Dalai Lama. Open your arms to change, but don't let go of your values. A lot of this stuff was taken off the wall to allow uh, a project a few years ago called the Wall on Wall Project. Uh -huh. If you get an, uh, an opportunity to Google mm -hmm. the Wall on Wall Project, mm -hmm. it was basically a German guy called Kai Weidenhofer mm -hmm. and he photographed the collapse of the Berlin Wall. So he photographed all the other walls around the globe and okay. he put them on our wall. Nice. Uh, because they were vinyl or wallpaper, they only stayed for a period. I'm a fan of Dalai Lama, so I'm just going to write something where he wrote. Um, peace. Peace. Let me forget about you. You have a green dawn. Good to see you. I'm coming to town, are you? This more or less ties in with all the industry. Look. The thread, the textile. The nuts and bolts, wow. the two big cranes that you're going to see later, the Titanic quarter, Samson yep. and Goliath, the Titanic, uh, more or less uh, what gave us our tag, the industrial giant. Mm -hmm. And we were granted city status by Queen Victoria back in the 1800s. Lovely. These are all street games in Belfast. You've heard of skipping? 
Belfast was known for what was called the rope works. Mm -hmm. That was one of our industries, making big ropes for the ships. The Ulster Volunteer Force, formed as far back as 1912 and uh, reformed in 1966. And then to the left you've got the Queen. The other memorial garden that I spoke about mm -hmm. is on the right hand side. Okay. And it's worthy of a look inside. Very much the approach to remembrance is done very differently. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This is remembering those that were killed in August of 75. And the 30 years of the period that we call the troubles. Yeah. The Titanic and the Troubles, the two T's. Spot. So that would have housed prisoners from the 1800s up until the 1990s. Those are solid More walls. so during the period of the Troubles, mm -hmm. it would have housed political prisoners. Mm -hmm. And then on the right you've got the old courthouse. Now the old courthouse had been, been bought, sold, bought, sold, never <laughs> nothing done with it. It's a Victorian building. It it's looks a listed wreck. building. Mm -hmm. So it has to be made good to what it was. What's going on in there now? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, it was uh, it suffered uh, a few mysterious fires. Mm -hmm. Some say vandals, some it's, say other things. It's for sale again. It's up for sale again, yes. Mm -hmm. I actually believe that the only, the only people that could make that building good are the government mm -hmm. by turning it into a government building. Or museum. We're sitting above a tunnel in its old Victorian glory. tried to do with the Titanic exhibition is give you an idea as to where the Titanic set. So you had the Olympic on the left, mm -hmm. the Titanic on the right, and they would have sat there in a large scaffolding or a large gantry for the best part of three years. Mm. They tried to give you dimensions. Right. So the Titanic was roughly 900 foot long, mm -hmm. 100 foot high. And this is the studio. See the castle? Uh, That's the red cape, Cersei Lannister. Oh. And I, that's the film studio, look. Any indoor filming is done there. Uh -huh. 
There's plans to turn this waste ground into a massive aquarium. The terminal on the left is the Isle of Man. The Isle other one is the Scotland or the 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 P and O or the Stanley Line. But look, there's to give you dimensions. Mm -hmm. If you go from one steel girder to the very last steel girder, you're walking in what you would call the footprint of the Titanic. Okay. So if you get a chance mm -hmm. after you do the exhibition, yeah. if you come out the back, yeah. this is the footprint of the Titanic right down to the water's edge. 